Okay, welcome back to uh, the Nickpedia zone. <laughs> All right, so this experiment I saw online is pretty dope. Um, I've seen Coffee Mate, this non-dairy coffee creamer is super flammable. And we did this other experiment about Doritos being flammable. It has to also be exposed to oxygen, so it has to be in the air, right? So there's several ways you can do that. Um, first, I'm just gonna show you that it's flammable. We're gonna put it on here. I'm literally just gonna like light a match and blow it off the edge, see if we can catch it on fire. I can see the problem right now. So, um, second way I'm gonna do it is I'm gonna put it in here, right? And I'm going to basically just squeeze and sort of have this like airborne um, coffee made up in the air and then we're gonna catch it on fire. Whoa! Yo. That is really flammable. Wow, like <laughs> I did not think that the non-dairy coffee creamer was gonna be that flammable. I, I've seen something on Mythbusters and like, but you never know until you try it for yourself. And I'm telling you guys, the non-dairy coffee creamer, the Coffee Mate, is extremely flammable. Like all you have to do is kind of like whoosh it into the air and then it kind of lights up. We did something sort of similar to this on a Will of Blow and our, our pyrotechnic guys kept telling us that this is what this, they use in like Hollywood big explosions. Cause it's like cheap and it's inexpensive and it makes this big huge flame. And I was like, dudes, <laughs> yeah, right. But I know, I, I, um, I believe them now. I definitely believe them. There are five necessary conditions for a dust explosion. Number one, a combustible carbon-based dust. Coffee Mate is about 62% carbon-based maltose syrup. Number two, the dust is suspended in air. Done and done. Number three, there needs to be an oxidant. We have oxygen in the air. Number four, there is an ignition source. We have a lighter. Number five, the dust particle size is under 400 microns. Coffee Mate has a mean particle size of 150 microns. Boom, bam, time for fire. Insane coffee creamer, bro. That was pretty good. <laughs> there we go. Uh -oh. The last one that we're gonna attempt is you're filling this tube with the, uh, the little powder here, which you got some right here. Go ahead and stick that down in there, right? And then you basically, since it's it's in place, right? It's not moving any. Um, you just go ahead and take a big deep breath, and then take your lighter and you blow it. <laughs> Let's just give it a try first. Let's see yeah, if we can yeah. do this. <laughs> I'm gonna try it again. I think it's possible. Oh man! What's up team? So I am using this candle for light because as you guys can see it's dark, but the shot of us doing the uh, the creamer flamethrower 
was awesome at night. This really surprised me. I did not think coffee creamer was gonna be this flammable. Um, I thought it was really cool coming out of like a little condiment container, but then making a flamethrower out of it was even more controllable. So I was like, kind of really like kind of in love with that. Um, it's gonna be awesome to do with Shane for Smosh Lab. Um, if you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up um, in the comment section below. Let me know if you could think of any other way that we could get this coffee creamer airborne, you know, and like, like light it up some other way. If you haven't yet, hit the subscribe button. We have new videos every week, every Tuesday and every Friday, and I'll see you guys really soon.